Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be building this Tinder card swipe interaction using interactive components in Figma. Alright, so let's first go over the setup that I have here. So we have just one screen that is a clone of the Tinder app UI and then a single component that we will be turning into the interactive component variant uh, that you can then swipe in both directions. And now we can start building the actual variants for the component. So let's move this over here and let's make a copy of this. And the first step is to wrap this into another frame. And let, let's give this a name um, swipeable. I believe that's how you spell it. Uh, swipeable and then slash idle, whoops, idle. And this is gonna be the first state of the, uh, like the first state variant for the interactive component. And now that we have this done, we can copy this, move it down, and then copy it two more times. This layer will make more sense in a moment. Just bear with me, let me move this like so. So now we have the idle state and then here we're gonna have touch, whoops, touch down and then this is gonna be the nope state and this is gonna be the like state, like so. And next we can uh, prepare the like and nope labels. So we only want to see those on the nope and the like ones. So we can just come in and turn their opacity to zero. And a neat shortcut is to double click the zero key on your keyboard. As you can see, to set the opacity to zero and single press brings it back to 100. So here for the nope, we are going to hide the like label. And for the like, we are going to hide the nope label, like so. And then we can come to the nope and just add a layout grid, like so, columns, and set this to one. So now we can select the card, and when we move it, we can still see the boundaries of the container frame. And why do we need this? Well, because we want to turn this 15 degrees to the left, and then move it outside of the frame, like so, and then bring it a little bit down. I've noticed that it's a uh, quite nice effect if you try to align the right bottom right corner of the card with the container's bottom left corner, like so. But make sure to add it a little bit of space here, so when you actually swipe, uh, there's going to be a little bit of margin on both sides, so it actually moves outside of the screen and doesn't show up there. Okay, and let's see, maybe just a tad bit more like so. And now let's just repeat the same step here. Let's add a layout grid, add one column here, so we can see it a little bit better. Select the card component, turn it right, move it out like so. Oh, and here, make sure you don't drag it outside of the frame. Like here, you can see it's outside of the container. So make sure it stays in. And uh, now let's move it down. So I like to use uh, the arrow keys to move it to make sure it just, uh, stays inside the frame. And then does that look the same? Let's move it a little bit more to the right, like so. And now let's prepare the touchdown, or actually the idle state, which the only difference we're going to make is to turn off the drop shadow, like so. And then we can turn all of these frames into their own components, like so. And then select all of these and choose combine as variants. And you can turn off the clip content so you can uh, still see everything. I just noticed that this should probably be called swipeable card and not just swipeable 
Okay, so now that that is out of the way, we can also come to the properties of the uh, variant and double click the property one and rename this to be state. So it's really clear what these are. And the next step is to make the prototype connections uh, into the frames. So come to the prototype tab and then we'll start with the idle card and make sure to select the card that's inside the idle frame. Then create a connection going to the touchdown frame and then the interaction will be uh, touch down and it's going to be smart animate and 300 is okay you can play with this if you want to then we're going to come to the touch down card and again select the card element inside of it and then we can make a connection going back to the idle card and this time it's going to be touch up and the same uh, animation properties will be fine then make sure this uh, card element inside the touch card i mean touch down is still selected and make a connection to the nope frame like so and then the interaction type is going to be on drag the animation uh, properties are okay and then finally while the card is uh, still selected make the final connection to the like frame and make sure it's on track and the properties are okay. Once you have all four of the prototype connections in place, we can come back to our design frame and now bring in our swipeable card from the resources menu, like so, and center it like this. The frame, and let's see, let's put 16 on top and 16 on the bottom. As the margin and right now we should be able to test whether this works so come over to the prototype and drag right click art reset drag left click art reset and it seems to work nice right now we don't have any images here and we can only swipe one card so let's fix that uh, I like to use the plugin unsplash to add images and that's what I'm going to be doing here again. So let's just add search for portrait images like so. There we go. And then all we need to do is come to the card, hold down command to select the or drill down and select the image layer of the card. And then just click a portrait image on the Unsplash plugin. And if I would have internet, it's going to load in someday. Oh, okay. There we go. Anyway, we got the first image. So the next step is to come to the swipeable card and just duplicate the frame. And then again, command click to select the image and choose another image, image like so. And just repeat this process for as many images that you want to add into your prototype. And the last step is to go to the bottommost card and then switch the state from idle to touch down. This will bring in one. A set of drop shadow into the frame or an into the prototype so it will look like there is just one drop shadow but when we actually drag it will appear here at the edge of the card that we are dragging at the moment if we would set all of these to the touchdown and we don't don't do the like touchdown and idle trick you see that it's going to create this really harsh drop shadows and we don't want that so we only want to include uh, the like drop shadow in the one in one of the cards so just add it to the bottommost element and there we go we are done this is how to create this super simple tinder card swipe interaction into your figma prototypes
Thanks for watching today's video. If you found it useful, please leave a like down below and also consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.